Hello class, today we are making what I call a paper plushie. All right, so for materials, you're gonna need a sheet of paper. On your table, you're gonna find two sets of markers for four people to share and this box sitting on top of them. This is what you should um, see when you come in and this is how it should look when you leave. And in the box, you're gonna find four rulers and four sticks of glue. So I'm gonna take out a ruler and a glue. I put those aside, because I'm gonna need them in a minute. And I've got a set of markers here. All right, so you will be getting a sheet of paper, and it is going to have an orange stripe on the right side. And if you flip it over, it's gonna have an orange stripe on the left side. So you can see they're on opposite sides. That is super important because this strip is gonna get glue and these two strips are gonna be stuck together. And what it's gonna do, it's gonna form a sleeve. I'm calling it a sleeve because it looks like the arm of a shirt that you could put your hand through. All right, so in order to form that sleeve, um, we are going to, we're not gonna fold the paper hat all the way up halfway like that. We're gonna make kind of an envelope here and we're gonna fold it where you have two sections. And this one's a little bigger than this one. They can be even, they can be a little off, that's fine. But the important part is that you don't fold this all the way up to the top. You just wanna fold it somewhere in this area here because it'll make it easier when you fold it over to glue to make your envelope. So I'm gonna take my glue stick and I'm just gonna cover that orange line in glue, skinny glue line. We don't want it to be a wide glue line. All right, now we're gonna take that strip. We're gonna lay that strip exactly on top of this strip. So we don't need much room. You can see right here that I'm not overlapping it too much. Press it down. And then I like to double check because sometimes you know you get a little glue in here on that line. I like to double check and make sure that my sleeve is open. You know, you could wind up with a little bit too much glue and it'll get stuck. Well, while it's wet, you wanna get your hand in there and boom, unstick it. Make sure that your arm can go through after you glue it together. All right, so the next step, I'm gonna take a marker and I'm gonna write my name. And I'm doing it on the side, you can see the line here. Um, you can kind of see in this guy, kind of messed up the lines on where his face is. That's all right, we make mistakes. Um, but preferably where the line is, where you glued that, Put your name and then put your home room. Um, whatever teacher, oh, I should have done that in print. Whatever teacher, T E A C H E R, whatever teacher is your home room, I want you to write that on there. All right, so now that we have that done, we're going to flip it over and draw a face. Oh, and in order to draw the face in the center, we have on the side of this candy where the seal is, um, you can see the edges, the sealed edges of the candy wrapper. We're gonna make the area for the sealed edges so that you make sure uh, not to draw your face too big where it's on the edge because as you can see, that sealed edge, we're gonna be cutting out triangles. So we don't wanna draw our face where it overlaps onto the uh, triangles, the area where the sealed edge of the candy is. All right, so the way we're gonna do that, that ruler that we have, we're gonna take that ruler and we're gonna line it up to the edge of the paper and just flip it over, folds down. You can pull that ruler out and you can press this paper down. There goes one of your sealed edges. See the sealed edge there? Now we're gonna do it to the other side. 
Just gonna line that up with the edge as best as you can and flip it over. You can pull the ruler out and press it down to make sure you get a good fold. Now we know exactly where to draw our face. So you can get as elaborate with your face as you want. Just don't go over the line there for the sealed edge where we're gonna be cutting the triangles. So I'm just gonna quickly draw a little face here, little cheeks, little nose. That is my face. You can be elaborate as you want. You can make a simple face. You can make a classic smiley face, whatever you want. All right, so that is our goal for today. We're not gonna finish this today. We're just gonna have a sleeve with a face on one side and our name on the other. And here is what you are going to do when you are done with your sleeve. Let me pick the camera up. All right, you are gonna take this sleeve and there is gonna be a basket on the table. You're gonna put that sleeve in the basket, face up. You are going to take your set of markers and this box of supplies. You're gonna make sure that all four, if I can get that to stay open, all four rulers and all four glues are in that box. You're gonna stack your two sets of markers and you're gonna put your box on top of that. And you're gonna make sure in the middle of your table, all the paper is cleaned up off your table and all the supplies are neatly stacked in the middle and your sleeve should be in the basket. It does not go home with you. And if you get done early enough and you have extra time, then we can do some free drawing, which means you just use the markers at your table. You could even use some colored pencils from the cart and you just go in the draw the drawer that says free draw paper and you grab a sheet of free draw paper. Have fun guys.